Girl Meets World is a 2014 family sitcom that is on the Disney Channel. It's a spin-off of the old TV show Boy Meets World that was a classic. I mean, I grew up on that show. Very near and dear to my heart. So watching this first episode of this show, I was hoping it would be good. And now I just got done watching the pilot episode. So let me talk about what the premise of the show is. We meet Riley Matthews, who is the daughter of Corey and Topanga. And she is a nice girl. She's a good girl. She she loves school. She just she wants to be out there and do everything she can. But she's best friends with this girl, Maya. And when I say best friends, they're pretty much the same exact relationship as Corey and Sean. Where Corey was the good kid, maybe more of a smart ass than this girl is, but still he was a good kid and he was best friends with Sean who was the troublemaker, the kid who always got in trouble and somewhat a bad influence on Corey. That's who this Maya girl is. She is a bad influence. She never does her homework. She always gets herself and sometimes Riley in trouble. Like all of that, I was thinking, okay, she is Sean. But then at the end of the episode when she revealed that she doesn't have anyone at home to help her with homework and that she's kind of, at least implied, just uh, an orphan almost. I went, okay, wow, they're really completely going the Sean route with her. You know what? I didn't mind that. I didn't think it was a ripoff. I said, why not? It worked perfectly the first time, so I really didn't mind them doing that. While they were in school, I found it a little, I don't know if the word is convenient, or just a little over the top, that Corey was her teacher. So not only do you see him at home sort of trying to keep her out of trouble, He's also her teacher, trying to keep her out of trouble, trying to get her away from this guy that she likes in school. And it's funny because I saw a lot of people who commented or they told me about what they thought of the show before I watched it. They said they didn't like it, they thought it was too corny, too just little kiddish, and it wasn't as good as the original series. Now, personally... It's hard to compare it to Boy Meets World because not only did I grow up on Boy Meets World, so obviously I have more happier thoughts and feelings to that, but two, this is one episode. I can't compare one episode to seven seasons. I will say, based on this one episode, though, that I liked it. I thought it was funnier than I thought it was going to be. I mean, yeah, it is sort of little kiddish. It's on the Disney Channel. What do you expect? There were a couple of jokes and just more a couple of the little girl's reaction to things and how goofy they were and you could tell they're just young and that's what makes them sort of cute characters to follow. Uh, so they came off likable for that reason. There's another kid. Uh, his name is Farkle. And the way he was acting, I could see some people being really annoyed by him, but I thought he was kind of funny. He likes both of the girls, obviously. But I just got a total Minkus vibe from him. I just was like, wow, they're just really kind of redoing the Minkus nerdy character from the first few seasons of Boy Meets World. And then I read on Wikipedia that he is, in fact, Minkus' son. <laughs> so, yeah, that should be interesting. You see a couple of scenes of them taking the subway, I guess, to school and back. And there's a reoccurring character. I don't remember her name, and I don't see her name on here. But she, I remember she was like the mom on Sister Sister, that TV show back in the 90s. So I instantly recognized her. I said, oh, okay. That's cool that they have her on here. And the little moment at the end where Mr. Feeney kind of shows up, but kind of doesn't. I know I saw somebody else complain that, oh, he's barely in it. I don't need him to be like a major character in it, obviously. It was still cool that he was there and that he was sort of telling Corey Matthews, hey, good job, you're raising your daughter well. So again, if somebody told me that they can't watch the show, they can't get into it, they just don't think it's as good, I understand. I'm not going to argue. I just thought, hey, it's a show on the Disney Channel. Sure, it's going to be a little bit more 
goofy and the humor might be too low for your standards, but I found some enjoyment out of it. It was cool to follow these characters like Hori, even Topanga, who is hot as hell. Yeah, Topanga is still hot, which was cool to see. Just seeing some of those characters, I know that other characters like Sean and their parents are at least listed to show up throughout the series. I will be very interested to see those episodes. So yeah, I'm going to keep watching Girl Meets World. Will it continue to be good? I don't know. But again, first episode, not bad. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below if either you're interested in seeing this show or if you have already seen this episode. What did you think of it? Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Later!